Hi, this is the second video in my Python course. I'm Pizza Bubble. See? Pizza. Bubble. Today I'll quickly take you through the installation process of Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter is a pretty excellent Python application with tons of help built in and specialized commands, which is why I'm choosing Jupyter as the app we'll be using for this course. First of all, go to www.anaconda.com distribution. I've included the link in the description if you want something to click on. This will take you to the official Anaconda website, a trusted way to download Anaconda Navigator. The site will look a bit like this, so scroll down and you'll get three options, Windows, Mac OS or Linux. Select the operating system you're on and choose the 64-bit graphic installer for Python 3.7. Most new computers are 64-bit, but if you have a relatively old computer, select 32-bit. Once you have it downloaded, click on it and follow the instructions the wizard gives you. Pause here if you want to do it now. Done? Okay, great. Now to find it if you're on a Mac, tap Command Spacebar to bring up the Spotlight search. Type in Anaconda Navigator. Click on it to open. For Windows, click the small Cortana search bar at the bottom and type up Anaconda Navigator. Again, click it to open. Great! Now that you have it downloaded and open, you'll see several applications, such as Spider, RStudio and such. Jupyter Notebook should be already downloaded, so press Launch. You'll be taken to a new tab in your browser. Now for your first notebook. Go to New and select Python 3. Awesome. Give it a cool name, like, I don't know, Bowie 6. <laughs> Whenever you want to save it, there's a button right there. Python is a text-based language, so yes, you'll have to type. The first command I'll teach you is print. Type the word print in all lowercase, followed by an open and closed bracket, no spaces. These strict rules are called syntax. You'll get used to them soon. Inside the parentheses, type hello, with double or single quotes on the side. This is a string data type made of letters. You can tell it's a string because of the apostrophes. Now press shift enter to run. Whoa, you just typed your first command. It should give you back hello. Well done. There are other data types in Python, another example of which is an integer. An integer is a number and it doesn't need any quotes. Try typing print one with no quotes. It'll work. You can also say print one plus one. And you'll get two. Basic maths. But now try adding two strings together, such as print hell and low. You should see hello. Python will join two strings together but add two integers. Well done, you've just started your journey to Python mastery. In the next lesson, I'll teach you about variables. Bye!